Once upon a time, in a city teeming with life and diversity, there were two friends named Sophia and Gabriel. Sophia was a spirited young woman with a brilliant mind and a heart full of compassion. Gabriel, on the other hand, was a strong-willed young man who was known for his physical strength and endurance. Sophia and Gabriel were close friends who shared a deep bond. They often found themselves embroiled in friendly debates exploring various aspects of life. One day they decided to engage in a discussion about a topic that was often considered taboo, the resilience and endurance of men and women when it came to sex. Gabriel, with his strong physique, was confident that men were superior in all aspects, including sexual endurance. Sophia, on the other hand, believed that women's strength often lay hidden beneath the surface, particularly in the realm of sexual resilience. The debate sparked a curiosity in their minds. They decided to delve deeper into the topic, embarking on a journey of research, interviews, and discussions with different experts and individuals. They sought to explore the physiological, psychological, and sociocultural aspects that underpin sexual endurance and resilience. Sophia started her research by exploring the physiological aspect. She discovered multiple studies showing that women have a higher pain threshold than men. This resilience, she found, extended to sexual encounters. Women were capable of multiple orgasms, while men typically needed a recovery period. Furthermore, she found that women's sexual desire was more resilient, capable of enduring long-term relationships and age-related changes. Meanwhile, Gabriel delved into the psychological aspect. He discovered that men's sexual desire was often linked to their physical state and could be easily affected by stress or health issues. Women, on the other hand, had a more complex sexual response, often influenced by a mix of physical, emotional, and relational factors. This complexity, he found, gave women a psychological edge in enduring sexual challenges. Both friends then explored the sociocultural aspect. They found that societal norms and expectations often put pressure on men to perform, leading to performance anxiety. Women, however, were more likely to prioritize emotional connection over performance, resulting in less stress and more endurance during sexual encounters. As they shared their findings, Gabriel found himself reconsidering his initial stance. He was beginning to see the hidden strength of women in a new light. Meanwhile, Sophia felt her beliefs validated, but also appreciated the nuanced understanding they'd both gained. The debate ended not with a clear winner, but with a shared understanding. Strength came in many forms, and women's endurance and resilience in the realm of sex was indeed remarkable. Their journey together opened up a new perspective on a topic often shrouded in mystery and taboo. They discovered that women's strength was not always overt or physical, but it was nonetheless powerful. This strength was embedded in their ability to endure, to bounce back, and to adapt, making them strong, if not stronger, in their own unique ways. It was a tale that unfolded the truth about strength, resilience, and endurance, showing that these qualities weren't just about physical prowess, but were also about emotional resilience, psychological endurance, and the ability to adapt to life's challenges. And in these respects, women indeed showed an immense strength when it came to sex. Please subscribe to my channel Lessons of Life and press the bell notification icon.